Hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, this should be rather short. We'll see how it works out. You know, when I always say that, sometimes it doesn't work out. But I'm going to show you how to correct a problem that your computer may have. It would have to be a rather recently created computer or built on your part or somebody else having built it. And if you put in a Samsung 980 Pro M2 drive at the two terabyte, although there's rumors that it also happens at other sizes as well. I happen to have two of these in my computer right now in the VM server. The first one I did when I first built it about the mid of last year, and then one that I just upgraded recently with a second drive. So I don't know if they have it or not. Let me take a look at the dates and the manufacturing location. They have several Samsung. The first one has April 2022, and it was manufactured in Korea. And the second one was what looks like July 2022 and it was manufactured in Vietnam. So we'll see if they have it or not. I don't know, but I do want to go through the exercise of checking for everybody, and maybe that'll help you identify whether you have the problem or not. So it's called a Samsung Magician, and it's software that allows you to manage these drives from Samsung, and it has a lot of features to it. I've used it before in some of the older drives, the 970s, and it actually helped quite a bit. It'll tell you how the drive is progressing and how it's aging and what type of space is being used. That can be identified in other ways, but it all is there for you in summary pages within the magician. So I'm gonna go through the steps. Since this, that software is not yet loaded on this PC, I'm gonna go ahead and load the software and I'll show you how to do that. Nothing you know, brain shattering, it's pretty straightforward, but you'll be able to see it done. And then I'll run that software and we'll see. And we'll see what it says about the two drives that I have installed in there as to whether or not there's a problem or not. Now, if you have this problem and you wait too long to upgrade it, once the drive has been used for a certain amount of time, it will just freeze into read-only mode. So let's go ahead and do this and see if I have the problem. Hopefully not, but if it does, you'll be able to see how it gets corrected by the software. It's supposed to automatically have the ability to identify it when I load it and pop up the actual menu system that's needed to walk me through upgrading the firmware. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to download the Samsung Magician software for SSDs. Did a quick Google and it came up with this site. Just go to the Samsung site and then you could probably find it as well, but I did mine with a Google. Once you get here, you come down to the various options and the one we want is Samsung SSD Magician. There are three things for SSDs for commercial, which is what this is. So let's go down and look. We got Magician Software, Magician Software Installation Guide, Magician Software Open Source Announcement. Let's download it. Okay, it's completed. Let me run this. Run the installer. Do I want to install it? Yes. English, okay. There it goes. I have to accept the agreement, another agreement for privacy. I want to create the desktop icon. I don't need the uh, quick start, so I'll just do that. And then I'll install. Now I do see an icon that's been added, Samsung Magician. But I'll just go ahead and say launch it now. So once I come into Samsung Magician, it comes into this default screen. And we can click on each of these tabs for the devices that it sees. The two Samsung 980s I have are listed over here. This one has, that's probably my drive C because that's the one that has the most written to it. If I switch to the second drive, I see a lot less. So that's the second drive, even though it doesn't give drive letters here. This is my hard drive, so you're not gonna see anything on that. It doesn't recognize it, it just tells you what the model number is. But the quickest way to, uh, to see the details is to go into update here and it'll give you the summary that, that you have to be concerned about. So we see everything to do with update. That's what I clicked on down at the bottom. This obviously the Samsung Magician software is the latest version because I just downloaded from the Samsung site. But if you look here, each of the drives is also identified. I happen to have the latest version of 5B2QGXA7 on both drives, even though I bought them uh, you know, almost a year apart. So I'm good to go. There's nothing to update. Well, there you go. Now, I didn't have the problem with these drives that are in there, which is okay with me. It would have been nice to show you that last step, but believe me, according to what I've read on it, it should be pretty automatic. 
It'll give you the option to upgrade it. Do you want to upgrade it now or not? I suggest if you need it, you upgrade it just so that you don't run into the problem because at some point, once the drive hits that maximum threshold, it'll be dead. Uh, hopefully your warranty is still on the drive and you can send it back to Samsung and get a replacement, but you never know. So let's hope for the best and everybody out there, go ahead and check your systems out to see if you have this problem just like I did. Till the next time, take care.